Let's do a video about stairwells, or more specifically, stairwell emergency lights. So here's our old emergency lighting, which is fluorescent battery backup lighting. And some of them are starting to die, and you can see this one is dying. Only one light comes on when the power goes off, and that's the one that's hooked up to the battery. And when the battery goes, either the test button stops working or that tube just stops lighting up like this one has. So you might not be able to see it in this video because it kind of gets blown out from the brightness. This one has both tubes working. Well, sort of. Almost all of them are getting a little iffy. And we have a total of 14. So let's go next door and look at the USF parking garage because they have motion sensor LED lights. So the LED makes them more efficient and the motion sensors make them even more efficient since they only come on when they need to. So this one is already triggered. I think we're between classes. There's probably a lot of activity in the stairwell. That one just came on. Okay, I'll try not to trigger the next one in advance. Now, I know this one is broken, which is not a good sign. Okay, these are all triggered since people are going through here. Okay, that one isn't triggered yet. And there it went. And that one triggered at the same time. So notice they're in low power mode by default. And then when they trigger, they get bright. They may, I think they eventually go off completely after a certain amount of time. So the other thing to notice that's of interest to USF, they've got a lot of light in here in the daytime. So, oh look, another one's out there. So they really should have photo cells if you look at our stairwells, you'll notice we do not, in between those windows, which are the people's kitchen windows, that's our stairwell. We have no windows, so we wouldn't need a photo cell, but definitely we would benefit from the motion sensors.